Hey everyone, so I'm back again with another video. This time around I have some retro video game pickups to share with you guys. Um, I haven't found much in a short period of time, uh, so I've had to sort of compile stuff over a fairly long period of time here. I think the uh, first thing that I got out of this set of stuff, I got it about three to three and a half weeks ago. So it's been a little while, um, but I finally put together a decent amount of stuff to show you guys at least. Uh, now to start out with, I'm going to show you guys these two controllers that I got. Um, I got them at a Goodwill that I don't usually go to, uh, just because I don't really go to any Goodwills. Uh, the closest one to me has had some interesting stuff in the past. But recently, it's been a mess of stolen things, um, sort of copied, like, fake games, um, and just overpriced nonsense, like $30 PS2s with absolutely nothing with them, um, and, like, $15, um, Super Nintendo sports games and stuff like that. Uh, this time around, they did have some Super Nintendo sports games, but they were priced at $10 each, and I had zero interest in them, so I didn't bother. Uh, they also had a bunch of, uh, original Xbox, Xbox 360, and a couple of, like, random, uh, like, generic DS games, uh, just shovelware titles, um, and all that stuff was priced between, like, 303 and uh, 10 something. I forget how they do it. I think it might have been 10 10, but I'm not entirely certain. Um, but yeah, I saw a whole bunch of games, but none of them really interested me, uh, or the prices just weren't right, so I didn't bother with those. But I saw this bundle in their display case, and it was one of the dumbest bundles I've ever seen. Uh, it seems like so many stores. Like, I don't expect them to know about everything that they're selling, but at least try to figure out what goes together, because this bundle was just ridiculous. They had, uh, uh, what was it? It was a Wii with all the cables that go with it, but no Wii remotes or any sort of Wii controllers. It had two of the Game Boy to uh, GameCube uh, like, cable adapter things that you would use for certain games like, uh, Four Swords and, uh, for Animal Crossing on the, uh, on the GameCube. Uh, it's just like this cable that you connect your Game Boy Advance to your, uh, GameCube. And then you could also use it on the Wii as well. Um, that was kind of strange to see bundled in there, but I, I thought to myself, you know what, it does go, it does connect to the system, uh, it should work in theory, but I've never tried it out myself. Uh, but then they had these two controllers bundled together with it, everything was $50 together, and I thought that was just kind of ridiculous, but whatever, they can charge whatever they want. Uh, but I asked, hey, these two controllers, they don't go with this system at all in any way possible, um, is it possible for me to just purchase these controllers on their own and the manager was like extremely confused um, I tried explaining to her what I meant uh, she thought that I was saying that I wanted to purchase the system without these controllers um, but I was trying to tell her over and over again no I'm just interested in the controllers I have the system already I have two of them I don't need another one uh, but she finally just sort of understood what I was telling her and let me purchase these two controllers. Um, sorry, I was <laughs> losing my breath there. Um, so yeah, I got these two controllers for $10, so $5 each. Uh, you might think $5 is a lot to pay for, for controllers, but uh, at least for these ones here, just because I really, really, really don't find them all that often, I thought, you know what, $5 is a fair enough price to pay for each of these. Uh, so the one here is a Super Nintendo controller, an official Super Nintendo control, con sorry, controller. The only downside is that it is sort of slightly dented there on the, uh, 
uh, well, near the end of the Super Nintendo logo, just right there, if you can tell. Um, and the other controller is just a standard gray uh, N64 controller. It had no uh, packs of any kind in there. Uh, but the stick itself, at least, is very uh, responsive, I should suppose I could say. Um, it, it's basically a very good stick. It's not flimsy. It's not loose in any um, way possible. Uh, it works perfectly fine. I already tested out both these controllers, um, and all the buttons seem to work on them just fine. Well, I didn't really have a chance to uh, test out... No, no, I tested out everything on this. I was trying to think. I played uh, Robotron 64 uh, to test this out, and the uh, uh, shoulder buttons here work for changing the sort of aspect um, of the game, changing it from like a wide overhead to a very sort of uh, narrow, up-close overhead view. Um, but I don't know if I tested the Z button. I don't know if the Z button does anything in that game. Um, either way... Got a controller. Uh, I'm going to try to fly through the rest of the stuff here because it's uh, some of this is interesting, some of it is just sort of filler. Um, I went to Game Mania and I saw them pricing a whole bunch of Super Nintendo games. Uh, this one here was the only one that was in my price range that interested me in any uh, capacity, so I went ahead and bought this. It's a platformer called Out to Lunch. Now, I've played a little bit of this and once you get a hang of uh, the controls, uh, and you have a general idea of what you're doing, uh, it's a pretty easy game to then go ahead and beat, uh, and it was, sorry if you can't see that, it was $10 for that game there. Uh, the next game that I got, I got this at a Value Village, uh, I think I got this one at the one I usually go to, it's Extreme G2. Uh, and I paid five ninety nine for it, uh, just because that day I didn't find anything else there, and I didn't want to leave empty handed. So when I saw one N sixty four game there, I thought might as well just go ahead and grab it. Uh, now you might have seen in a previous video of mine, um, I got a box and manual for Super Mario Bros. Uh, the classic NES series for the Game Boy Advance. Um, I also grabbed this other box and manual. Um, both of them are crushed, but still better than nothing. Uh, it's the uh, box and manual for Bionic Commando Elite Forces on the Game Boy Color. I do not have this game yet, but hopefully I can find this game sometime soon. I don't think it's a particularly uh, expensive or hard to find game. It'll just be a matter of trying to find it on the cheap because uh, I paid five dollars for the uh, box and manual there. Uh, next up I got a whole bunch of uh, PS1 games in varying conditions here. Uh, pretty much I'll start out like this. I got another copy of Star Wars Episode 1 Jedi Power Battles. Uh, this one is Greatest Hits but the disc is in like near perfect condition there's like one little smudge on it um, but otherwise like you can see the smudge right there but otherwise it is in very good condition uh, the copy that I have is uh, not in the best of conditions but still works just fine um, next up when I got those ones I also found these here it was Austin Powers pinball uh, the uh, manual and case art, uh, but the disc inside was for Namco Museum Volume 1. Um, and the disc itself was in very good condition, so I went ahead and paid for it anyways. Um, and then I found this one here, it's just the case and manual for Worms Armageddon, uh, and that kind of sucked because uh, Worms Armageddon is a game that I would like to play. I would like to own it uh, too, not just play it. Um, but because I was buying the other ones, I got this uh, thrown in for free. Uh, now the last of the PS1 games I want to show you guys. I got this at the uh, Value Village that I typically go to. And at first I was kind of excited for this because it's a halfway decent game. 
And then I turn it around and the manual is missing and also the disc is for another game. So when I'm looking through the CD rack, I see this first CTR Crash Team Racing. I thought, okay, that's a decent game. I can do something with that. And I pull it out. First I see there's no manual. And then I notice that it's actually for Twisted Metal Small Brawl. Uh, now, I didn't even know this game existed. I think this puts the number of Twisted Metal games on the PS1 up to like 5 or something. Uh, please tell me if I am wrong, but I really think there were uh, 4 Twisted Metal games. And then, uh, like 4 numbered Twisted Metal games. And then this one here. So that makes 5 games. But if there are more, please let me know. Um, and it was only a dollar ninety nine, I think. Yeah. Uh, so I went ahead and picked that up, even though it's just the disc and the case art for Crash Team Racing. Uh, now the last game that I have to show you guys here, uh, by far, is the best game uh, that I got out of this set of stuff. Uh, I got this at Buy and Sell Kings, that is uh, by Danforth and Dawes Road. It's between Dawes Road and Sibley, I believe. Uh, but to make it simpler for you, for those of you that are in the city and wish to go to this place, um, it's basically east of Main Station, but before Victoria Park. So it's about uh, in the middle of those two streets along the Danforth. Um, but yeah, I saw that they had a whole bunch of Master System games. Uh, the Master System games that they had there, for the most part, were priced uh, pretty low to fair uh, in terms of uh, cost to value. Um, and I thought about a couple of different titles, and then I just I settled on this one here. I thought, you know what, uh, this one would be the better choice for me uh, and it's Fantasy Zone um, on the Master System. I paid fourteen ninety nine for it. It's not the best deal but it's also um, a lot cheaper than I've seen it in a couple other stores when I've been able to find it in other stores. Uh, I definitely don't find Master System games all that often uh, and the fact that this one was complete and the cartridge almost popped out there um, in very good condition there's the manual just a uh, little curled in the corner there but otherwise it's in very good condition um, I tried testing out the cartridge itself and I know that it should work just fine uh, the only sort of downside is that I do not have a master system so I tested it out on my Game Gear because I do have the uh, Master System converter for the Game Gear, but I then found out that my Game Gear just has stopped working properly. Uh, they're notorious for having sound and um, sort of screen issues, so now the screen just sort of uh, flickers and uh, has a whole bunch of stripes going across the, scre the screen, so I can't really enjoy this game for the time being. Uh, hopefully I can find a Master System soon. I would really like to have a Master System, or at least the uh, converter for the Genesis, but both of those are pretty hard to find here in Toronto. Um, I have come across a couple of Master Systems in a couple of different stores, but Typically, they're priced at $80 or more, and that's way more than I'd be willing to spend on a Master System. There just aren't that many exclusives on that console that I would really uh, care to play anytime soon, at least. Uh, but that's what I got. A couple more games, a couple more controllers, and a couple more sort of bits and pieces in between there. Um... At least I found some interesting things over the course of almost the last month. Um, but yeah, as always, leave comments in the comment section below. Anything you'd like to say, comments, questions, suggestions, ideas, anything at all, I'll get back to you as soon as I possibly can. Uh, check out my Facebook, Twitter, and website. They're all linked in the description below. And uh, that's it. See ya.